Hello, hello, hello! Yes, it's me, Zooey Mama, and I'm back again with another mob build. As you can see, it's a pig. Um, but before we get on to that, I just want to explain a few things. One, yes, my voice may sound a little bit weird, um, because I've actually been in bed ill for the past few days. Um, I'm actually fine. I thought it might be the virus, the, you know, the god forbidden virus but luckily it isn't it's confirmed it hasn't been um but nevertheless i'm still feeling a lot under the weather i'm not looking for sympathy from you guys either okay so don't worry about writing all these soppy comments in the, in, in the comments I, i'm fine um i'm just letting you know that that's why the production of videos this weekend hasn't exactly been um booming let's say um i've managed to just actually today um to get the pig built I've gone with a pig just because, um, like I said, I'm still not feeling 100% great and it's a nice easy mob for me to build and it's not really too much for me to think about um, <laughs> yeah, because I've been taking so much medication, my head's a bit fuzzy, fuzzy still. Um, and while we're talking about the pig actually, I just want to say this is going to be a build that's dedicated to my friends at Southbrook Farm um, because they've got cool little pigs and I figured what better video to sort of build and sort of give a little shout out. So yeah, there we go. Um, and here we go, we're actually just getting our way down to the pig now and as you can see from the background there as well, he's very similar to the chest pig. Um, there's a slight difference in the eyes there um, and some of the textures on the body. Um, but apart from that, he's pretty much the same. And I just want to say as well that obviously I tried to go as best as I could with the detail, but unfortunately because there's not very different um, colours of um, pink, that are available, it was quite tricky. So I've had to use a bit of like pink terracotta, magenta terracotta there, just to um, give it a little bit of detail. Um, but nevertheless, if you don't like those bits on there, you can just colour it all in pink with pink wool, but I'll leave that entirely up to you. But I think it's about time we get onto the colours. Seven hundred and ninety pink wool. One hundred and thirty-eight pink concrete. Three pink terracotta. Forty magenta terracotta. Two white concrete. Two black concrete. And that's the load of blocks you'll need for today, and I'm hoping I count them all correctly. If not, just make sure you have a few spares just in case. Okay, so first things first, get yourself a nice big area to work with. Using your magenta terracotta, you can place one, followed by a pink wall, followed by another magenta terracotta, and then a pink wall. Spin along around to the left hand side, you can place a pink um, concrete just on the end there, followed by some pink wool, that's two, and then all you're going to do is make like a little cube then, um, which is four by four, and then you're going to come up by a total of five blocks on top of that base, so all in all, from the bottom to the top, it should be six blocks high. Okay, so once you've done that, you just need to fill it all in with pink wool. There we go, so you should have something looking like that, and that's your first pig's foot done. Now, from the front of that foot, you're going to count one, two blocks, and on that third block, we're going to repeat the process. So magenta terracotta, you're going to place some pink wool there and next to it. You're going to plink, uh, pink concrete just there, and then pink wool here, which is going to come across by four, two there, four across the back, and four there. And then again, like I said, you're going to come up by f a further five pink wool on top of that base that we've already built. Okay, so it's in total from the bottom of the very, very bottom to the very, very top, it's six blocks high. So that's two of our pig's feet done. That's what I mean, this, this pig is very simple. Now from here, I need you to count out eight blocks and on the ninth block, we're gonna build, okay? So count out eight blocks and on that ninth block, we're gonna again do another pig's foot. So again, same principle, you've already built two of them, so this one should be a doddle now. You don't even need to think about what you're doing. Um, and I will speed things up again because you don't want to watch me painstakingly misplace spam, putting all this wool everywhere. There we go. Look at that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Lovely camera magic. There we go. And then from the back of this foot, again, you're going to do, replicate the same as what we did on the other foot. You're going to go two blocks um, gap um, down the center there and then obviously build the last foot. And that's your four feet done. That's how easy this guy is. Look at that. And it's so nice that it's all pretty much one colour. Um, it's just a lot of pink wool. So I do apologise. You're going to be shearing a lot of sheep for this build, I'm, I'm afraid. So sorry about that. Okay, so now we're going to start building the side of the pig up. So with your magenta, you can place one here and then one overhang in the front. And then to the back, it's a slightly different. You're not 
overhanging the back this time, okay? So you're just doing like a little L shape just there. So that's one block in from the back of the legs. With your pink concrete, one there, one there, and then one, two on top. And then to the front, we're now going to do a strip of it. So we're going to go from on the top here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, once you've done that, we're going to switch to our wool and we're going to go from the top here again. I'm going to go one, two on top, and then from here, one, two, three across, and then switch to our concrete and go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then once you've done that, we're going to go back to the front again, and with our pink wool again, we're going to go up by one, two this time, and go one, two across, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pink concrete this time and what you want to do now is come up from the corner again and just go up by further two blocks and you should have something looking like this at this point and all we're going to do now is everything in between this end here so you can bring that up to the same height as the front of the section that just did them two blocks high is the height of the pig so all you got to do is match that up to the back and fill it all in all the gaps now with pink wool okay really easy this is you don't really need to think too much about filling in. There we go, look at that. So you should have a, a side of a pig looking like that. And all you're gonna do, yes, you've probably already guessed it already, we're gonna replicate the exact same thing on the other side. Now I will speed things up again because you don't wanna watch me doing the same thing again. But for you, once you've built the one, all you need to do is look across and build the same section again. So that's all you're doing is looking across, build that same section, and then once you've done that, you should have two complete sides of a little pig. There we go, let's speed this up. There we go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Nearly done. Ooh, that saved a lot of time, didn't it? There we go. So we've got two exact sides, two exact sides of a piggy. Now, spinning on around to the back, we're actually going to get this little guy's tail on now. So what we're going to do is go to our um, bottom left hand side with our magenta terracotta, place one there, and then on top of that, we're going to place a pink concrete. Okay, you do the same on the opposite side, so magenta, and then on top of that, a pink concrete. Okay, so you should have something looking like that. Switch into our pink wool, you can do a strip of that all the way along the base, like that. And then from this left hand side, you can place one block there, and the right hand side, put two blocks. So you should have a three block gap here, which you're going to fill in with pink concrete. From this block here, you're going to place one, two pink concrete, followed by a pink terracotta, and then you're going to place a pink wool. Next to that pink wool, you're gonna go with two pink terracotta again, like that, followed by a pink wool. And underneath that this time, you're gonna do magenta terracotta, followed by a pink wool, and then to the center, you're gonna do another magenta terracotta. So you should have something looking like that, and that's his tail. And yes, you've guessed it, you can fill it all up now with a pink wool. And you should have a back end of a pig looking like that. And there you go, I'll just give you a little close up of that tail just in case it confused you a little bit with all that spiral action going on. Spinning on to the front of the build now, we're gonna now just place in a few blocks. So you're gonna use our magenta terracotta and place one there, followed by pink concrete on top, and then one to the side of the magenta there. So do the same on the opposite side, like so. Switching to a pink wall, you can actually bring those, bridge them all the way across, both of those rows together, like that, looking good. Now flying on the inside of the pig, what I want you to do is turn around because the head's going to be facing us there. So what I want you to do is put two wool on top there and then get your pink concrete and just bring that line all the way to the back of the build like that. Oh, not down there, up here, that's it. So this should be in line with the base of the body, okay? Not below because obviously it's going to uh, make the build look a bit crazy later on. Okay, then from here I want you to place some magenta and then a square of pink concrete around it. Place one pink concrete and then a magenta again and do like a little square of pink around it and then again magenta terracotta oh sorry pink concrete magenta terracotta and then do like a little square so you should have a odd looking pattern like that and we're going to do the exact same on this side so magenta and then get a pink concrete do like a little square around it put one there magenta in there oh yep yeah. <laughs> magenta in there <laughs> There you go, concrete, like so, and just keep repeating that process, and that's the, the pig's teats, I guess. Um, and there we go, look at that. So you should have some looking like that. And see the gaps to the left and right of this build? What you're gonna do is just fill those gaps in with some pink wool. Yes, there we go, look at that, speed things up. There we go, that's all good. So now from underneath, that should all be nice and sealed up. So from the inside of the build here, I want you to go to magenta, followed by two pink concrete, and then followed by two pink wool. So you should have something looking like that. And then you can do a line of pink wool across the top. 
okay? And then from this corner, you can bring that all the way up to the top of the body and then go two blocks up above and bring it back by two blocks back. So there you go, should have something looking like that. That's the head overhanging the body. And then you can bring this line all the way across to meet the front of the build, okay? So it should go no further than those um, bottom blocks that we've already placed. From here, you can now place some pink concrete, which is four, followed by one either end, and then two magenta terracotta, and then followed by another two pink concrete. And that's the pig's ear. Okay, now all we need to do now is just put in a bit more pink wool around this ear there and there, and then one more there. And then you should have a two block gap there, which you're going to place one black there for the eye, and then just a pink concrete on top. So you should have summer looking like that. Okay, and all we're going to do now is literally spin on around to the other side and replicate the exact same thing. So from the inside of the build, and it's always easier once you've done one side to do the other because, like I always say, you can literally look across to the blocks you've already placed down and literally copy the exact same pattern across. And once you've done that, you should have that summit looking like this with two sort of sides of a pig's head. Okay, now let's fill the center part in, shall we? So where the black is, you're gonna put a white concrete next to it. And then just above that, you can place a pink concrete to finish off the eyes. Okay, now going back to our pink wool, we can bring that down underneath the eyes all the way down, like that beautiful and then bring it across the bottom by one block as well and then from the white of the eyes across you can bring that all the way across and then above the head you can bring it all the way across too okay so you should have something looking like that and now we, this is where the snout comes in all right so you need to obviously bring it out by one block um, do a row of pink wool first of all switch to your pink um, magenta sorry your pink your magenta one on either side then your pink concrete in the center there and then finish it up by a little bit of pink wool again and that's the snout done and all I need to do now is fill in all this top of the head and around the back here um, with pink wool so there we go we'll just speed things up now you got the idea there we go that pig's head is coming along very nicely we're just gonna switch to the back quickly and I want you to go from the back here and go one, two, three, four, five, six with your pink concrete. Then I want you to come across by one and then down by one, so one block gap, and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, pink concrete again. And then again, I want you to bring that across by one, two blocks, and then come down by one from the head and go down by 10 blocks of concrete. There you go. So basically, you just got a few streaks of pink along the back there. Um, and then all you need to do is fit it all up with pink wool. And just don't worry if it's not exact because it does not make any difference. If you've got those lines in a completely different place to me, then that's fine. Don't panic. It will look absolutely fine anyway. Okay. Once you've done that, we need to just finish off a few things that I forgot to mention earlier. So underneath the feet here, um, I was a bit of a numb nut and I didn't actually put these bits in. So I just need you to fill in there like a little L shape, right? So it should be two blocks down from the top of the back of the legs there. And I need to do that on all four legs. I can't believe I even forgot this out, but it's important that we get it on there. So like a little bit of detail. There we go. Look at that. There we go. That set them off nicely, isn't it? And the last little section we need to focus on is just underneath the chin area. So what I want you to do is from the magenta there, put one and then a pink concrete there and there. So do the same magenta terracotta, pink concrete there and there. And then yes, you can fill all the rest up with pink wool. And there you go, my friends. That is my interpretation of the Minecraft pig. Hope you enjoyed that video and I'll hopefully see you soon. Bye.